All right, you guys, what is the next step in this drawer build? So uh, a couple of things happened when I did the previous video and it's fantastic. It's one of the awesome things about the Overland Bound community. Uh, members reached out to me on our forums to help. Now we're gonna go all the way with this design. It's gonna be, I'm, I'm gonna take my time. And the next step is to actually refine the design that I did last time. So uh, Joel S over on our forums, he's a Overland Bound member and on Instagram, he is Tex Rides Bikes, T-E-X Rides Bikes on Instagram. He had a fantastic folding uh, drawer system design. By folding, what I mean is I can retain the middle row seat. I can fold the drawer system storage down when it's just two people. But if I need to use that middle row seat, I can fold it up. Uh, and so that's going to be very, very helpful. His was for a forerunner. I'm going to modify that for the 80 series. Now I made a new friend, Parnell, who is in this area and he actually makes very high quality furniture and he knows how to design in CAD. Now that's going to be required and I think that you guys should consider using some kind of application like that to get your design really dialed in uh, in order to work very well. So I'm going to step you through that process. We're going to go on over to Parnell's shop. We're going to measure out the 80 and we're going to begin um, making these designs in 3D so that we can refine them. Now after that, we'll probably cut out the pieces in cardboard, mock it up, and we'll go from there. So today, let's refine this design and get our measurements made. Let's go. Guys, hey, I'm here with my new friend Parnell. You reached out to me. I did. You did. So I was just like, I was back of the napkin and then, so you, you have a shop here, you got CAD skills and you were like, hey, let me help you out, which I really appreciate it. Yeah, I'm happy what, to help. Yeah, what, made you, what made you reach out? Just curious. You know, I just think you've done so much for the community of four wheeling yeah. and overlanding and you've gone way out of your way to make it a real community that people can get together. So I'm an Overland, Overland Bound member Yeah. and uh, I just saw the cocktail napkin sketch <laughs> and I know how much you use the vehicle. And I just, you know, I've got a little spare time. So I thought, yep. hey, you know what? If I give him a hand, maybe he'll, he'll end up with a little better product. So. Right. Uh, well, right on. First of all, thank you. That is awesome. No problem. Uh, yeah. And uh, just looking around, I was a little, little intimidated by, by, the, by the shop and the gear. It's like, it's, you, you, got a, you got a nice setup here. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm really lucky. I yeah. build uh, custom furniture and yep. uh, do some machining for the semiconductor industry. So yep. now just... You, necessary tools of the trade yeah i see it's a combination of of, of wood and metal and that sort of yeah. thing yeah yeah most cool. of the furniture is is wood and metal yeah uh, all commercial no residential uh, yep. mostly in san francisco but occasionally i do something outside the city cool and now um you do trips as well so yeah you've yeah done we've some been builds and you've yeah i've been four wheeling since i was a kid yeah. uh we've done tons of family road trips i have four kids so we've gone all over the western u.s up into western canada a lot of camping and four wheeling. We're gonna do a reverse Oregon Trail uh, mm -hmm. to Missouri, and then my son's playing a baseball tournament in uh, New York in August. So then we're gonna go up and just do Civil War battlefields and check out the East Coast. We've East farthest Coast we've ever awesome. really been is uh, Colorado. So yep, yeah, that is awesome. Yeah, it should be fun. Um, I went through the East Coast. Hey, I'm gonna do. Hey, Aaron, Aaron Brown, you guys at the garage shop. I know you have an event today when this video goes goes out. Hi guys, I went to the East Coast. Um, we went from uh, Aaron, Aaron's, um, he builds race cars, fantastic shop there. And then we toured up to, to West Virginia and just the, that whole East, it, there's so much history there. Yeah, you, yeah. Got, you guys amazing. are gonna have a, it's great, amazing. a great time. Yeah. yeah. Um, all right, so now you're making me up my game on the, on the design side. What are we gonna do today? So the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to measure the inside of the vehicle so we know where everything is. Yeah. Uh, we'll create a 3D model of the inside. Uh -huh. So once we have a 3D model of the inside, then we can really see where the drawer unit's going to move like around. My, he didn't like my napkin. I, I like the napkin. <laughs> it's a good start. We're going to have a napkin too, which is going to be a digital napkin. Right. Uh, so we'll figure out exactly where everything needs to sit. Uh -huh. And we'll figure out how much it's going to weigh, how far you want it to slide out, how convenient you want everything to be. And once we have all that, uh, finish the CAD drawing, and then we'll laser cut a cardboard model of it. Uh -huh. We'll hot melt glue that cardboard model together, 
the cardboard model will sit in there, we'll be able to look at, see, oh, okay, yeah, that works or that doesn't work. Because doing something like this just off of drawings, I never find works. I think you got to have, you got to have a mock-up. And yeah. laser cut cardboard, it, it'll take us 15 minutes to cut it out and glue it together and we'll pop it in there and you'll see if you like it or not. Right and on. then we can make changes we need to make. And once we've made those, uh, probably going to do it out of a steel welded frame, mm -hmm. uh, but maybe out of 80-20. We'll okay. just look at the budget once we get it all put together. Okay. Cool deal. Great. Let's, uh, let's do it. All right, that was a great visit. Parnell and I generated a bunch of awesome ideas. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mock up a highly detailed cardboard maquette of a CFX3 Dometic fridge. And then we're gonna take it out and we're gonna put it in the back of the 80 and I'm gonna talk about all the options with Corey. Yeah, okay, that took a little bit of time, but I think you'll all agree, if I painted this that weird blue-gray color with a white lid, you guys would not be able to tell the difference between this and a refrigerator. Sweetie, you know what this is? My birthday present. It's your birthday present. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. <laughs> you guys probably are gonna go, duh, but I have to do stuff to learn. <laughs> I can't, I have to do it's it. It's okay. Is, is that the fridge really becomes the anchor point because the whole drawer system and everything is going to be built oh, around yeah. it. So that's the whole deal. It has substantial dimensional weight. Yeah. So we got these great designs, which you and I have looked at um, from our friend. Okay. And, um, and then Pernell, uh, he mocked up an interesting idea. It's all about maintaining the sleeping platform for us. Correct. So if it is below freezing in Utah and yes. you have to sleep in the back of the rig, we can. Okay, and that would put the fridge here, if it were like that. That's way too high. Got it. Okay, now, second option, we have the fridge, we do the go wing on the side of the truck. Okay. And then we have the fridge positioned basically here on top of the drawer systems. It, it would actually be up about there. Uh, yeah, that's not gonna, that's not gonna pop open. Okay. So, is third. This, <laughs> is this your long-winded way of getting me to no. agree to a drawer fridge? No. <laughs> Cause I'm, because I'm almost there. By the way, you guys, I did not accidentally put this here. Do you know all those, do you know all those? <laughs> this is a those, different video, this is a different this, video. This is a different video. But, but Chris, our medical advisor, we've been talking about trauma kit, base camp kit, and boo-boo kit for a long time. Uh, he designed one. This is a different video. We'll get to that. Okay. So. Did you, did you, tell, did you tell them I have a cold? I oh, have a cold. Corey has a cold and we live by an airport. <laughs> oh. It's a small regional. No, it's not even a regional airport. It's a small municipal airport. The cool thing is that in August we get to see the World War II warbirds fly around. Oh, it comes, it comes in June this year. That's what I said. Birthday. Yeah. It gets complicated, right? Okay, so there could be a slide out solution that does the tippy thing. Yeah. That comes out and does the down and does the tip. It'd be here. Out. It'd come, come out, out. Tip. And then it'd Hold. go here. And if we do any sort of fold down thing here, this becomes like the kitchen in my apartment in Boston back in 2002. We'll have storage under the platform if the seats are folded forward. Right. Have it slide out enough so that we can yes. still close that at night okay. if we want to. Okay. <laughs> and hope that this is bear proof. And hope that hey, this is- Hey, Dometic, 
Are these bear proof? And and then hope that this is bear proof. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure it, I'm sure it is. Bears are not very strong. The front part of this the area will be full width of the rig. Yes. But this won't be, so we're gonna have to play footsies. That's fine. Because our footsies will be over here, That's and then we'll be, I know yeah. who I married. I know. We're, we haven't been married long enough that we don't want to touch each other's feet. <laughs> this is not I, simple. No, it no. Is. Well, no, it is. It, it is, is. But it's but not. It, but it, it is. It is. But here's a couple of lessons um, that 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 I've learned so far to pass along. One. Your fridge is probably your anchor point. You want to build everything around that because it's going to determine a lot. And then you just have to list your must haves because everything's a compromise. Must be able to, to sleep be, inside. And to be clear, I'm the one who pushed the fridge. He didn't. He actually didn't want a fridge in this build out. But I said, no, it's a deal breaker for me. So if you want to write comments about having a fridge, you can just point them at me. Okay, I'm going into the unknown, but hey, adventure is necessary. <laughs> I, I'm going to try and learn uh, a little something about Fusion 360. It's a free 3D application that you can use too. I'm hoping that if I can learn you know, how to use this thing, you can see you can, you can learn how to use it too when you're creating your own drawer system. Parnell really recommended we create a digital mock-up so that we can measure twice and cut once, as it were. So I'm gonna take what we learned from the, the cardboard cutout of a fridge, my conversation with Corey, and I'm gonna try my darndest to come up with a configuration that works for us. And I'm gonna make a mess of it, so hopefully, I can give what, what I create to Parnell and he can knock it into shape and create a, a digital model that we can actually use. Um, then we'll create a, a template, we'll cut out some cardboard or whatever, we'll mock it up in the back of the 80 and uh, see, how it, see how it all works out. All right, wish me luck. All right, now you guys might be thinking, wow, Michael really banged that out. Uh, no, that footage is sped up 20,000 times. <laughs> okay, so I pushed and pulled the design around a lot. I have a problem. I can't really get that fridge to work. It's too big, it's too cumbersome. The 80 isn't that big a space. So, I think I have a good idea. I'm gonna to talk to Corey about it. Hi. Okay, so I have some... You called me out here. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Sweetie, let's talk. Oh my gosh. Uh, no, so I've been working with the design and that fridge and trying to get it to work. Yeah. Um, I just can't get that big fridge to work in this space. So, no, a, no 35. Yeah, lead. correct. It's fine. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Okay, is that the bad news? That's bad news. Okay, well, well then what is the good news? Oh, <laughs> but that's some good news. <laughs> so, I've been uh, watching Brad's channel, and uh, I think I have a Trail solution. Trail Recon? Yeah. <clears throat> Trail think, Recon, Brad. Yeah, I think I have uh, uh, a solution. Oh. Oh, okay, that's Boom. the drawer fridge. Yeah. So, it's not quite a 30 quart. It's a 29 and something. Okay. But with this configuration, the... Um, I'm busted. 
I have Rocky Road ice cream all over my Keep finger. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> with this configuration, okay, so with this configuration, the floor just goes all the way across the top. You have ice it cream won't. all over your hand. <laughs> if I'm hearing correctly, flat all the way across the top. Yep. Fridge drawer here. Yep. Cooking, whatever fire here, away from the gas cans. And then this will be a solid flat space for us drawer here okay yeah okay all right that's it i think this is gonna work really really well i'm fine it's gonna be perfect all right you guys thank you for hanging out again now i'm gonna make all of our plans, details, and price lists available to you guys. And I know this is an iteration, part two of the design, but I really want you guys to see every part of the process and how we kind of um, uh, balance the, the different trade-offs to come up with the system that we're eventually gonna build. So thank you for hanging out with me today. Of course, we love your subscribes. And if you really wanna help us out, this video, like all of our videos, are, is brought to you by our Overland Bound members and our community. Head on over to our website and find out about becoming an Overland Bound member. I would love to see you out there on the trail. All right, till next time, outfit and explore. Stay tuned for part three.